What's up, y'all? My name is Arthur Lee Jones Jr. And I heard Belena's top 10 greatest matches of 2016 in WWE. And they were great. But I got me some great ones of my own. You see, there have been some great, great matches and some not great matches in 2016 of the WWE. And I'm going to give you my top 10 greatest matches of all time myself. Some of y'all ain't going to like them. Some of y'all going to uh, agree agree with them. Now, now I'm going to give y'all possibly one or maybe two honorable mentions. But I think it might be uh, just two honorable uh, mentions. Honorable mention number one, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Samoa Joe, the second fight in an NXT TakeOver Toronto. It was a good match. Yes, I liked the match. I just didn't want to see Shinsuke Nakamura lose that NXT uh, title after he beat Samoa Joe. And my number one greatest and my uh, number one honorable uh, mention, well, it happens to be Charlotte versus Sasha SummerSlam, when Sasha lost the uh, title to Charlotte after she won it a week later on Raw. Now here's number ten. This one there was a tough one for me. But the number 10 greatest match of all time in 2016, John Cena versus AJ Styles, SummerSlam. This time, he didn't need a club. He, he beat him without the uh, club, Gallows and Anderson. He beat him hands down with the Styles Clash and the big forearm, one, two, three, AJ Styles beat. AJ Styles beat John Cena at SummerSlam of this year. Now my number nine one is happening at the same one. Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns versus Dean Ambrose, Money in the Bank. The reason why I like this match, it was because the title changed not once but twice. You see, Seth Rollins pinned Roman Reigns to win the title, but then Dean, who actually, who actually won the Money in the Bank earlier that night, went would come in later that night to cash in the money in the bank on Seth Rollins, hit him with the dirty D's, one, two, three, new, new champion, Dean Ambrose. Now, number seven, I'm going to say it, it's Shinsuke Nakamura versus Samoa Joe, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. This match was just off the chain. Hearing that one brother played a violin to bring out um to Samoa. I mean, bring out Shinsuke Nakamura. These guys went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and they just blew the house down in Brooklyn. And in the end, Shinsuke Nakamura won the match. Oh yeah, number number six. Number six is Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn, Battleground. These two guys was just going to town on each other. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. He even did a, a Sami Zayn did a brain buster on Kevin Owens. I thought, I, thought, I thought Kevin Owens was knocked out. But in the end, Sami Zayn 
hit him with that big foot in, in a corner and pin him one, two, three. Now, people are going to uh, disagree with me on this one, but I'm going to say it anyway. Number five, Roman Reigns versus Triple H, WrestleMania. Now, I don't care what y'all say, but I like the match. I love the match. The match was great. The entrance of Steph, uh, of a Triple H with, with a wife Stephanie was even awesome. But in the end, Roman Reigns came through to the end, won and beat Triple H one, two, three to win this, to win the uh, title. Now, number four is Bailey versus Asuka, NXT Brooklyn. Now, this was the last match between these two because Bailey would come on to um to um to join the uh, roster, the uh, Raw roster next. So. It was a standout great match, back and forth between the two. I thought Bailey was going to win, but unfortunately, Oscar still undefeated and he's still champion to this day. Number three. Okay. Number three was like. Like one of the wildest, wildest matches I've ever ever seen. Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles, Extreme Rules. These two guys took it out of the ring. On to the kickoff show, they even fought, fought at the kick, kick, on the uh, kickoff show, and somehow, some way, I loved it when AJ Styles did, did, did his flying forearm onto Roman Reigns on an announce, on an announce table, but unfortunately. He didn't, AJ Styles didn't win and still champion then was Roman Reigns. Now number two was the Miz versus Dolph Ziggler SmackDown IC title. Maurice tried to get, get involved. His former Spirit Squad members tried to uh, get involved. This, this match was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This rivalry was just crazy. But in the end, Dolph Ziggler finally found the courage to get it, hit him with a super kick. One, two, three. New, new champion was Dolph Ziggler. Now people are gonna really disagree with me, me on this one. But Lena, you might dis disagree with me, me on this one. And I'm gonna say it. But the number one greatest match of all time. Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg Survivor Series. One minute, 42 seconds. I don't care how long it was. Thank God we didn't get it. We didn't get it the same thing like WrestleMania 20. No. Not one, but two spears. Jackhammer. One, two, three. Shot the he hell out of me. I gotta say, that was the greatest match I've ever seen. I didn't care if it, if, it, if it was a short or not. Just be thankful that Goldberg came back. That's my number one greatest match of all time. Let me know if, if y'all agree or disagree with my, with my top 10 greatest WWE matches of 2016 and give me your top 10 greatest 
matches of the WWE of 2016. Let me know in the comments below. And like and dislike this. And always... Keep on watching wrestling. This is Arthur Jones. Peace!